Hello guys, welcome back to yet another episode from the VW Patreon server. Um, we're in a bit of a different area and that is because I have been... There's the house. I've been needing some resources here. Um, I took a little break. I already aggroed this guy and then he decided he wanted to run away. Oi. Well, I could use some bone meal. Um, yeah, this little coward here. Got him. Um, so yeah, I needed some resources for a little project I had in mind that was inspired. Like, I've been wanting to do this for a while, but then like, of course, we started with the village, um, built something near spawn. Then, um, the Assassin's Guild kind of, you know, really excited me, so I went and do that, did that. But now I'm a little bit burnt, down, been burnt out on the guild because it's just so much digging and it's all grey and stuff and I didn't make a stairway down from here yet. Um, so I went off to a different biome, which is not here, and started up another project. It's not very far because I need, uh, well I'm trying to build with red sandstone and quite frankly it's a pain to get. Also because of course I don't want to um, destroy the landscape. Um, but anyway, I made a nether track, which is like really inefficient and long, like through multiple, linking multiple outposts um, with each other. And quite frankly, because I just I just took the coordinates and then built a portal, it came up here and it was kind of ugly and I didn't just want to dig it into a, a hole in the mountain and leave it. So I made a little bit of an outpost. It's I've, I haven't made too much progress on this house yet. I'm still debating whether I want to keep the roof like this or whether I may maybe want to make a bell tower or a clock tower or just a tower um, or maybe use one of the other spots for that. I don't have too much space here of course because I don't want to make this huge. I just want to make this a quaint little village. I'm gonna open the door for just a moment. I already hear something getting ready to shoot me. This area at night is really bad, hence, uh, hence the cobble door. And I, I guess putting the, the trees out in front of my house didn't really help the, the safety situation here. I like how the bird trees still have like pretty nicely colored leaves. Um, might make use of that because all the other leaves look quite uh, quite dead in the mesa. Um, so yeah, I, I really just did the, the front facade of this thing. It's all fake guys. Everything is fake on my channel. Um, and yeah, I just, I, I did this wall here, um, it's just a, a circle essentially as, as well as you can do those in Minecraft. I decided to use like three different kinds of wood just to keep it a little bit more interesting. Um, this isn't the final wall yet, but I had to, to work with this. Um, I just put it up like this to give uh, to get a little bit of a feel of what I'm working with. All these pillars like, uh, <laughs> I put up pillars to, to like determine the layout of my place and then like the wall messed with it a bit. Also because I wanted this uh, house um, that we can't really get in now, wait a moment. This house, I wanted it to be um, an odd number because I needed it for, for both the tower and, and for this roof, if I could decide to keep this roof. Um, but the entrance to this place is, is too wide and I didn't really want to make this a tree right thing I did because also because the, the diameter of the circle. Uh, is the certain is yeah is the kind of size that would make this an eight block thing? So I wouldn't need to make it a nine block thing. Then I could have possibly a three big entrance. But that's like I want this to feel like a really small town in the middle of nowhere. So that didn't work. Um, so I ended up putting this like rather than having it like weird with this door being off center. Wait, yeah, yeah, like having one door. Like one door would not work straight from here because then um, the roof would not work. It would be um, an even number, and quite frankly, I don't didn't really want to work with that right now. Not it what uh, not what I had in mind. Then um, two doors wouldn't solve that, so I ended up putting the whole thing just off center. Um, and if it's purposely off center, it, it's it's better than having it just a little bit off center in my opinion. So that's basically what I did. Um, it also helps with the little problem that you get sucked out of these corners like uh, Mr. Bubbles had in his own episode. Um, I, I have, I'll still have to put something here. I could have uh, originally had this wall for this building here. But I feel like this might give a, a little bit better better building. And of course I have to lose a, a clock tower somewhere either in here 
Um, but I don't think so. It will become a really high building if I have to put a clock tower on top of that. Um, this water here will probably go because it's it's nice to have like a water source in like your outpost village, but it doesn't really bring anything um, here. Maybe I'll put like I'll, I'll definitely put like a fountain here. I think I think that would serve us pretty well. But yeah, like um, I've been moving resources over here, and I, I've run out of uh, coarse dirt, and I think another couple things. I've completely ran out of iron because I had to make all these tracks to the Nether that were like pretty inefficient because I ducked the wrong direction. <laughs> I got a little bit confused. Um, the tracks aren't there per se, but like I did. Um, more than like making the most straight line, I actually went like um, a bit like that, like. Uh, very un Pythagoras -y, if you would yeah never mind I'm not gonna go there um essentially that's it I'm sorry there's not like uh, too much that happened there the other project that I did start up with for which I needed a red sandstone it doesn't have anything worth showing right now I still have to work on the layout even for that so there's nothing here um I guess that's it thank you so much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one bye bye